Thank you, Sarah. Honored guests, members of the Board of Governors and Senate, faculty, staff, alumni, and my fellow guest speakers, the Honorable Elizabeth Dowdswell, Jim Logan, and Julian Lutz. And most importantly, you the graduates with your family and your friends. What an honor it is for me to be with you today to celebrate OCAD University's graduating class of 2020. This day is about you and what you've achieved through hard work, determination, and creative inspiration. I'm actually thrilled to be part of this virtual convocation. As Sarah mentioned, I am alumni from OCAD University, OCA as it was back in those days, and then went on to medical illustrating at U of T and training in research and surgery. I believe a lot of my success as a surgeon and as a scientist is directly related to my time and experience at OCAD University. I believe there is a significant overlap between art and science and that a training in art, design and creativity are essential components needed to provide the answers to some of our biggest global problems to date. Problems such as a cure for cancer, for climate change and how to get out of this pandemic that we're in currently. We are standing in OR number eight at Women's College Hospital. And this is really my away from home work studio. Everything I learned at OCAD, I use every day in the operating room. Whether you're holding a scalpel, a pen or a brush, your success depends on several important principles. You have to have a plan or a 3D concept in your mind. You have to know your medium, whether it be Florentine marble or human tissue. And you have to be able to render accurately and in both surgery and in art, the closer you get to your original concept, the more successful you will be. But there are differences. Surgery is really not a form of self-expression. You have to stick to the rules. There is a strict code of principles. I still paint and in painting, there's something that happens that we call a happy accident. That really never happens in surgery. But you can still be creative. We are always trying to improve procedures and how we actually do things. Really, we are all just problem solvers. When people find out that I was in fine arts before going into medicine, they say, wow, that was a real change in direction. But it was straightforward progression from my point of view. A training in art is really a training in observation. It teaches you how to be aware and how to see. And that's certainly something you can use extremely well in medicine and in surgery and in research. I believe the world of scientific research would benefit from an artistic education. The idea that creativity is part of everyday thinking is something that I use all the time in research, specifically in my capacity for dealing with abstract ideas. I find a lot of people fear facing abstract notions and will often retreat to safe known areas and components. But as an artist or a painter, we are trained to face a blank canvas or a problem and deal with it head on. From a research point of view, that can mean looking at things in ways that people have never actually looked at it before. When I was applying to medical school, I received a lot of blank stares from people who couldn't figure out how being an artist could have any relevance to science. But I think it's such a great background for scientists. It's the way you look at things as, as an artist that is really very important. Creativity is a critical element of how human beings advance in all our disciplines. Where medicine and science need help from artists is looking over the horizon in looking at something completely in a different way. Thinking as an artist means connecting the dots that aren't all next to each other. But these are difficult times to be graduating in, there's no question. There are a lot of unknowns and a lot of new challenges that you will have to face. But I believe that your time at OCAD will provide you with advantages over other graduates at other universities. There will be hard work, but you're used to that. Look to where your hard work has brought you to this day. You have to thank the people around you that have got you to this point. 
Thank your friends, your family, your partners, and the people sitting next to you. Thank your teachers and respect and value your time at OCAD. Be proud of your creative DNA that you carry from OCAD. Face every challenge and the future with respect and love. Best wishes to you. Good luck. Congratulations again and have a very, very special day.